Time now for Ask the Expert. Tax season, it starts Monday, and although it may seem like we have plenty of time to file, there are good reasons to get your taxes done early. So here with more on this uh, is financial professional Brad Allen with WealthWisconsin.com. Yes, everyone wants to procrastinate because who loves filling out their taxes or at least taking them somewhere to get their taxes. So what do we need to do to That's get right. it going? Well, we always say there's, there's four different uh, reasons to do it early. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number one is going to be you're going to get your tax refund back soon. Yeah, that's true. That's Hopefully you're getting, if a you're getting a refund. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so most people are, you know, pay more into it throughout the year to get a refund back. Um, usually it takes about 21 days to issue a refund from the IRS. But that, and then you have more money to do fun stuff. Holidays are just finishing up here, so you can pay down some holiday debt. Oh, I knew you weren't going to let me get away with just having fun with it. <laughs> you can it. put it in a savings put it account, in the or we can start that uh, that emergency fund that we've been talking about the past couple weeks. Yes, and smart, you know, right. if you do it yourself, you want to check and double check. If you're taking it somewhere else, you still want to give it a good look. So right. if you do it early, you can catch the mistakes. Yeah, I mean, cutting down on mistakes. If you do it early, you're going to you're going to cut down on the mistakes. Most mistakes happen if you're rushing through it. And a lot of people mm. wait till the last week, last day to do it and get it in. Uh, most of the common mistakes are social security number mistakes or count number mistakes. Some people even spell their name wrong. Yeah, they don't they put their say. full name. Really? So, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's what, happened. Well, what about those who aren't married, don't have a property, don't mm -hmm. have kids, and they might get hit with a bill? How, by filing early, does it kind of help the situation? Sure. I mean, it's going to cushion the blow a little bit, right? So if you owe money at the end of the, the year, um, if you get it done early, you're going to know how much you owe. And then you have the next couple months to start saving that. The last thing you want to do is put that money on a high interest credit card or something because you turn it in too late. So sure. getting it done early is going to help that out. And a lot. lately we've had to worry about uh, identity theft. Right. Mm. Big problem, especially this time of year. So if you get it done early, it's going to cut down on that because just think if somebody uses your name and tax ID two months from now, but you turn it in this month, um, you know, they're going to catch that right away and they're going to know that's a scam. But what do you do if you believe that you're a victim of identity theft while you're filing your taxes? What can you do? Yeah, I mean, the best thing to do is, is contact the IRS right away. Mm -hmm. And the uh, best thing you really can do is have records of everything. Before you even turn in your taxes, make copies of everything, have records. And that way, when you contact the IRS, you have the records and then follow up with them and make sure that, you know, it was resolved in a timely manner. Get them done, get them done. You get have to done. pay them. You got to get That's them, right. you know. <laughs> it's what we all have to do as yep. taxpayers. All right, thank you, Brad. Sure. Have a question for our experts. Email them at asktheexpert at today's tmj4.com. You can also leave a voicemail. We have the number right there for you.